Hi, this is Thundee from Border Work, and today we'll be looking at the Droid Incredible 2. This is the new Droid Incredible from HTC. I'm just going to move closer so you guys can take a better look at the device. What we have here is the uh, Air USB port for charging and the volume toggles over here. In the front, it does have a front facing camera right there, uh, 1.3 inch, um, 1.3 megapixel camera for video chat. The back has an 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, records at 720p, and um, does have touch sensitive buttons in the front, and kind of has this plastic encasing around, which kind of gives it some durable protection. Uh, the other thing to note though, um, packaging, you still have your USB cables and all that stuff, but it does have this cool new uh, looking charger from HTC, of course that's where the USB goes, and then if you look at it as well, it flips down, it's kind of different, new, you know interesting so there you have it but um, you know one thing to note this is a 3G device uh, and you can see there it actually says let me turn that back on again this is actually a 3G device not a 4G LTE and it's coming out on the 28th so it's interesting to see that um, Verizon released a 3G um, device with their 4G rollout that's been going on lately so um, we'll check it out and see how the incredible 2 you know hangs out all right, so uh, playing around with the um, Droid Incredible 2. Uh, first thing to note, of course, when you power the device on, it uses um, HTC Sense uh, UI, it's similar to all Sense devices. Uh, this phone does come with some pre-packed software like uh, Sims, Golf 2, a lot of Verizon software like the 3G Mobile Spot. And you can actually switch through, of course, like you know with Sense. Um, to the Verizon apps to see what apps are there. So you do have the Blockbuster, Backup Assist, Kindle, Mobile IM, and a bunch of Verizon um, applications. Cool thing, that, which I it's probably been in sense for a while, I just never noticed, is that it doesn't actually flow through in your apps list um, constantly, sorry. You, it kind of stops in, in page breaks. So you go from one page break to another, to another, to another. It's just something I actually just never really noticed. Of course, you do have your um, <clears throat> multitask menu on the top and um, and you know it runs pretty smooth it does still run a uh, 1 giga snapdragon processor the newer version but it's still just a single core processor on uh, on the device it is a super LCD screen and uh, I'm just going to show you the camera here guys can get a good look of the camera. I'm just going to put something in here in your view so you can take a look and see. Now the camera has a traditional Sense UI interface uh, for the cameras. Of course you can go into the menu, you can switch main camera to secondary camera, which of course is the 1.3 megapixel camera there. And of course you can see me in the background and <clears throat> you know check all that out. Um, overall, I mean, the device is nice. There's a few things that actually um, um, I wish they had improved the Droid Incredible 2. For one, the battery life is still not that great. Um, I wish this was a 4G device, so there's a 3G. It's not a 4G LTE, which is surprising considering the whole um, 4G LTE push by Verizon. But it still runs very well. Uh, you still get good download speeds in 3G. But like I said, the battery is one concern that I wish they had improved upon, um, as well as having 4G LTE. Um, running a dual core processor, not so much. Um, it still runs very fine. Um, maybe that, of course, might have just aided to poor battery performance for this device. But um, uh, on the plus side, though, it, it feels very, very light and comfortable. Um, the camera does take some very good stills. Um, actually, some of the camera video, if we can just jump into that, uh, show you how those, those videos look like. The... We'll zoom back out. It's running variable two. Just giving you an idea how it looks. Different lighting, different shades. You can see it's a little dark over there. I can switch on the, uh, the flash. And that helps in an area like this where there's less lighting. Not that much, but it does help. You can see down the steps there. Now that's with the flash on. Off, sorry, on. This is the flash on. Sorry, now you can see it's brighter. Off, it's darker. So, just giving you a good idea. See how it looks. 
and this is um, recording at 720p indoors. I'm gonna do about a minute. So, and then, turn this off, give you a better look. We'll head outside. It's a very, very cloudy day. Um, you can see the flowers there. You can see out, out there it's cloudy, so of course, it's kind of skews how the camera looks, but, um, you know, using the auto autofocus here, um, give me an idea how it records outside at 1080p. Um, see the clouds and walking towards traffic. Looking kind of fuzzy there, because, you know, it's slight drizzle outside, not serious. Um, <clears throat> see cars in the road. Some trucks coming by. It's gonna walk down across the other way. Not sure, I'll get hit by anything. So that's about a minute or so. Let's see the gas station down there to give you an idea of what it is to record with the uh, Droid Incredible Two. So oncoming traffic. So yeah, let's. Um, finish up the review uh, all right so definitely you've checked that out and seen how well the uh, camera works uh, shoots at 720p so um, you do get high def video content overall the droid 2 is a small improvement from the uh, droid incredible 2 is a small improvement from the uh, first droid incredible uh, the design features at least uh, aesthetically it's it's much uh, slimmer, aesthetically more um, palatable, but overall, um, I'll say um, Verizon just did a minimal job in upgrading the device. There is no 4G LTE. Um, also runs this uh, single core Snapdragon processor. Does have a good front-facing camera, um, and also um, the 8 megapixel camera does take some good stills as well as uh, records the 720p. Um, so if you guys have any questions or comments, let us know. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our pages on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. They're all Board at Work. And also hit us up on the website at borderwork.com. Uh, this is Stundee from Border Work. Um, I did like the device, but it was lacked in a few areas, like I said. And um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. Thank you very much, and always enjoy entertainment.